Welcome back, everybody, to youtube.com slash zebra breaks. Referee Brandon Toll here. Happy Thursday, everyone. It's Thursday. You know what that means. Time for some new video action right here on the channel. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Appreciate the time as always. This week is going to be a uh, different video. We're going to go back into pro wrestling for a little bit for this week. Uh, I was able to procure something. Uh, we're going to step into the vintage realm of cards this week. So having said that, I was able to procure right here in my possession two sealed rack packs of 1985 WWF tops. You see Pro Wrestling Stars there. The price on this show is quarter and 77 cents. And then let's see, I was pulling right there. Uh, looks like a, a dollar. A dollar in 1985 prices. Imagine that. Uh, if we had cards at a price like that in this day and age. So we've got two sealed rack packs here in front of me. We're going to go uh, 1985 Hulk Hogan hunting. That is uh, pretty much the card of the 85 series. Roddy Piper is also a sought after one for this. The Junkyard Dog. The stickers that are in this. There's a few different ones that are sought after for this. But these obviously being 1985 are hard to get. So. We're going to see what we do here for this. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I appreciate it. Make sure you smash the thumbs up button on the video as always. Helps me with the algorithms. Subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. And without any further ado, guys, let's get ripping. I'll be very gentle with these uh, because of uh, um, how these are. I guess we'll start with this with the top one right here. The other one off to the side. All right. So, I don't want to be too harmful with this, so we're going to try this. Goes. Damage any of them because they're 85. They're definitely a different uh, breed, especially. Uh, so, I'm going to take this very, very nice and very gentle. Uh, may even get my scissors instead of using box cutter. Yeah, let's do that. I want to be as gentle as I can with this. So, ourselves. I want to keep them in best condition as we can. I mean, these are obviously sealed, so I'm hoping for these to be in the absolute best condition possible, given that they're from 1985. All right. So, we're going to leave all the, we're going to just leave them in order and we're just going to go one at a time here and uh, also as we're going through this I also have uh, pull out some supplies because we're not going to waste any time throw some top loaders up here sleeves here as well because we're going to sleeve as we go See the centering on these? I mean, just looking at them right now, the corners look really good for the most part. Need a soft corner on Snooka here, but not bad. I mean, so you can see Jimmy Superfly Snooka. Um, 250 pounds from Fiji. Just a little blurb on the back says collect all 55. So just a little blurb of it. So there. One Angry Man, that is Jesse Ventura. Ooh, 83, 82, Jesse Ventura. Go with that. Here she comes. This is Tito Santana in action. Go up in the air. Produce the Barber Beefcake in the airplane spin prior. Well, just when he was just Brutus Beefcake. He didn't become the barber till uh, 87 after the Dream Team. Ooh, that's a nice one. Tito Santana holding the old school Intercontinental title. Yeah, I like that. There, Greg the Hammer Valentine also with the Intercontinental title. Very, very nice. Oh, look at this. There it is. 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 This is one of them. The centering is... Uh, not the best. Well, it doesn't look that bad. The corners look good. 
Just looking at it, corners look real, real nice. This is one of them. This is the blue one with the 85 uh, title belt. And there's also a yellow one in it as well. So this is it. So let me just set it right back there for the minute. And cause I'm gonna send it away to get graded. So, so this is going into my PC. Give it a whirl. We'll see what happens with it. Pictures here, real quick. I have people that can help me look at this. Phone will work. Use these for social as well. You guys are kind of seeing my whole process here a little bit with this especially ones like this that are as uh hard to come by spot on the back uh, i think may kill any chances of psa 10. Put it in a top loader. I'm just going to put it right into a car. Thought about sending the one if I got any of this, if I would have got sent them away to CSG. But for these ones, these 85 ones, um, I'm a big fan of, uh, I think it's going to be PSA all the way. So this one may wait a little bit until PSA reopens. And see why they're semi rigid card holders for a reason. With only the two rack packs, I think you got this was going to be a shorter video anyway, so the you guys kind of seeing. What it would be one All right stranglehold roddy piper and the junkyard dog there in the maybe pile for me let go of my toe spinning toe hold for greg the hammer valentine there we go moon dog spot if i'm not mistaken yep i'm sorry moon dog rex my apologies let me out of this paul wants it orndorff pin face to the canvas mr fuji and uh going for the pin who is that Tito santana very intercontinental heavy portion of the pack there all right so we're one we're one hogan in i was hoping for at least one I'm, i've been happy with like optimistically hey let's get three or four so let me set everything aside there all right let's go to the second here some of the stickers in these are actually worth something too in the long run this is a pretty cheap cello on these but i still don't want to risk it all right so our stickers, here you can see Hogan's face. That's I guess that these build a collage and he is the person in it. I guess if you put them all together, it gets like one big, one big shot of him. So there's junkyard dog sticker. Oh, there we go. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. That's another one. Absolutely. And I guess this is Cindy Lopper. So look, it's number 20. I'll have to go look at the checklist. So 19 and 20. And once again, we'll just leave it here for right now.
put it right there and we'll I'll just leave those after uh, trying to put it in a graded card saver to take that long but say lovey Iron Sheik and the Ayatollah. Red Blassie on the front. Crusher and a Crusher. JYD. Crusher and a Crusher. I like it. I like it. Giants in action. Got a Mr. Fuji profile card. Oh, wrong kind of music. Boogin one. Here we go. Who's your next challenger? Anybody good to meet me, man? There. You can definitely see with Fuji. If you look at it, the centering is abs is not the best. Hardest part of these is the centering. Lock them up. John Stud, Chief J Strongbow. No fair choking. Packed by an animal. Ref with uh, looks like Ivan Putsky and uh, Jesse the Body Ventura. And speak of, he's going to be the next one. Jesse the Body Ventura profile and Big John Stud. Heck, I'm probably going to send a, a bunch of the bread. At least the profile one's in. Obviously, the centering's off on them. But, uh, you know, we'll see. We're halfway in. We are halfway in on this. May end up being the same one, considering looking at top ones are on these. One at a time here. utmost care on these I like to take care of everything I have and I call open but these especially more so than most all right I would like it if we could pull another one all right let's see what we can do here going for the pin a bit different on the action shots Wendy Richter putting on the squeeze that's an MSG picture on an MSG over he goes. That looks to be Paul Orndorff and Hogan. Paul Orndorff looks like he's bleeding a little bit there. All tied up. Andre and uh, Big John Stud. Fun fact, that's uh, Mark Eaton, who used to be the timekeeper. Or he was. Or, yeah, he's not more, but he double dutied timekeeper, and then he refereed on house shows. So, here we go. Captain Lou. Oh, and I think we've got... Yes! Mm. This one actually looks a lot better on the centering. A lot better on the centering. It's a little off. A little. You see back here, based on how it's cut. Short and a lot there. So, but then you can see here to there. So, maybe a nine. Uh, that looks really, really good. That looks really good. Someone's going down. Hurl. There we go. Fabulous Moolah. The Fabulous Moolah. Kabili Jim. This comes flying. Another Jimmy Snooker. One Angry Man. And here, here she comes. Pretty sure that's a misprint. Here she comes. Know about that. That's got to be a misprint. So we are two in. Right, we go back to the middle here.
got a third one out of this last part that would be phenomenal stickers here Richter again. Oh, I'm good with that. And a Jimmy Snooker sticker. Right. Yes, 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 yes. I'm good with that. We got two of each here. With the last stack to go, and that'll do it for this week. Thank you guys so much for joining me. This is going to be a little on the shorter side, obviously, given everything. But okay with that especially being vintage like this being able to open these is pretty cool in my opinion the the uh, the kid in me I wish I could have wish I would have gotten into these when I was in my when I was a kid in 85 I mean I was born in 85 but nonetheless Mr. Fuji there we go another wrong kind of music there I'm up Chief J Strongbow no fair choking Attacked by an animal. It's Greg Valentine and George the Animal Steel. There we go. This ain't my idea. Holding hands. It's giving me blasters. Another Jesse Ventura. One's here. Moondog. Spot. Ooh, ready to fly. Snooka and Andre. Camel Clutch. Iron Sheik. And they took my reindeer. Captain Lou Albano. So, all right. So that'll do it. So we got two. Two and two packs. Basically kind of what we came for here. So we've got, got one blue. Got one yellow of the 85 Hogans. They're going off to get graded, both of them. I'll be real honest with you. Like, I wish I had the blue centering with the yellow. With the yellow card itself, to be honest. Probably send the stickers too, the number fifteen stickers. So to see what uh see what we pull. That'll do it, guys. Here for this week on the channel. Let me know what you think about this. Leave your comments below. Smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. And we'll see you next Thursday, noon Eastern, eleven Central, right here on YouTube.com/slash Zebra Breaks. Round the third and heading for home. We'll see you next week, everybody.